Welcome back, guys. It's Bernard Cross for Mark and Mark here. We're going to go straight into the All-Star Weekend prediction. What do you got, Jer? Yeah, man. There's a lot of things happening in the All-Star Weekend. We got a lot of things happening, on, especially on Saturday, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I think the biggest top two events that are happening are the three-point contest and the dunk contest. You know, we got a lot of challengers, and including our back-to-back -back champion, Devin Booker, uh, just looking at the list of who is going to be on the... Uh, Basically, the whole the um, the contest. Rising star. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, well, the each world versus. Uh... Yeah, we got like Seth Curry, the Steph Curry brothers, mm -hmm. um, Dirk Nowitzki, who's a special um, contestant in that game. Uh, Buddy Hield, Damian Lillard, Chris Middleton, Kemba Walker, and even our own very own Toronto Raptors, Danny Green, part mm. of the uh, contest. So, who do you guys think is going to come on top in the three-point contest? I'm tied between either Danny Green, I mean, have you seen his video on IG where he just <laughs> dropped, remember, yeah. Yeah, he dropped 27? <laughs> that was pretty nice. crazy, but if, yeah. if anything, I'd have to give it to Steph Curry, if anything, yeah. yeah. It's hard not to go against it, I mean, Seth or Steph, like He's just, just, they're just, all, I don't know what it is, if it's in their blood or something, yeah. just three-point blood for them. It's, <laughs> just, it's just like, and the, the way they shoot is just so efficient too. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, if you're playing in, in, in a three-point shooting contest, time is money too there, they have yeah. a time. And the way they shoot affects in terms of how long they can, they can get the shot up. And Curry and Seth, uh, Seth and Steph are, have that kind of shot. Yeah. But, uh, you know, as much as I already kind of want Steph to win too, I think Buddy Heald can come out. I mean, he's yeah. shooting with like 50% from the three-point line this season. And he yeah. makes about three a game. That's, that's pretty impressive knowing, I mean, in Sacramento, the first thing that you, now the teams are doing in terms of defensively scheming is scheming for him not to shoot, you know, but he's still being to shoot over 50. Yeah. So I think he's, he's going to be the dark horse, but it's hard not to go against uh, Seth or Steph just because, you know, Steph is the best shooter we've ever had. In the <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. I think the Curry brothers, they're, yeah. very, they're very familiar with the Charlotte home court. Yeah. I mean, they're born and raised there. Yeah. And the, the father is also, well, it doesn't, he never played there, but he's a commentator there. And I think the Steph Curry brothers can actually, it will be very, very exciting to see if they both got in the finals and started playing against yes, each should, other yeah, mm -hmm. and see what happens with that. Um, I don't think I mentioned, I forgot to mention, I think Joe Harris of the Brooklyn Nets is mm -hmm. on the oh, list. Oh yeah, Joe yeah, Harris, okay. yes. And that, I think that's going to be my dark horse, him mm -hmm. and Danny Green, but Joe Harris shooting at least 50% off the, yeah. from the three-point line too. I think that game against the Raptors, Wait, he was draw, torching seven us. Seven or eight threes on us. Yeah, oh, torching us from the three-point line. Mm -hmm. And I mean, those two guys, I think, I think they're going to be um, very good to see what they do um, playing uh, in the contest. But obviously, it's going to be challenging for many of those players just because it's not like they're going to dribble off mm -hmm. or get a ball pass to the ball from yeah. that's someone why else I, and I'm, shoot it. it they're going to have to yeah. grab it from the yeah. right yeah, or left side. That's why side. I see more of that's like the, the like, the, like the Curry brothers seeing that more. They can be able to do that kind of those kinds of shots rather yeah, than coming from a play, right? So. Yeah, and I that's agree. why I think they, obviously Danny Green was practicing. Yeah, yeah, because so. you need it's different from catch and shoot, from yeah. grabbing and shooting. Because the fact a lot of these players, I mean, uh, Joe Harris coming off, you know, always off that uh, screen, uh, off the screen, but he's always coming off the screen. They're all catch and shoot players, whereas Steph and Seth, anywhere really can pull up, and 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 they're used to that. So mm. I'm yeah. gonna say. Probably gonna be Steph, but uh, my dark Steph. horse is Buddy Heald. Yeah. Oh yeah. I want. Um, let's go over to the dunk contest. And there's a lot of there's a few people that are coming up, and uh, Dennis Smith Jr. is actually gonna participate once again. Once again. Yeah. again. I just In feel like he wants contest. to take that title. He wants. Yeah, he yeah, wants yeah. it. Like I feel yeah. like he might win that title again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I felt like that title was stolen from him with against Donovan Mitchell right from last yeah. year. So. There's also Miles Bridges, John Collins, and Hamadou Dalilo. Dalilo, yeah. Dalilo. Dalilo? Is yeah. that how you spell yeah. pronounce his name? But yeah. um, Desmond, I think he's one of the favorites. Uh, John mm -hmm. Collins, I mean, he's going to be one of those big guys that, I mean, he's going to be like Serge Ibaka, what he did in tw back in 2012. He can't he's really jump, springs. but he's going to be... He has but he's a big he's guy, not, though. He's not going to... He he's he's going to have about? some good dunks, but he's not going to have a spectacular dunk. This guy's mad dunk. bunnies. He was dunking on people before he was injured. But I'm going to say, Miles Bridges is actually a nasty dunker if you watch him play. And he's playing home court. Like, he's, he has a oh, home yeah. court advantage. Like, yeah. Yeah. Miles true. Bridges has that. And they have this crazy announcer at the at the um, at Charlotte. Horror. Like, have you seen like some of his dunks where, like, the announcer from Charlotte just goes crazy and stuff? I, and... And I think he has like some mad bunnies. Yeah, I, I think he has something in his sleeve. Like Miles Bridges is actually a nice. Like, we haven't really seen much because nobody I haven't watched really the Hornets. Seen that much. Yeah, I don't nobody really watched watch the much. Hornets. They're, you know, I know they're making the playoffs, but they're not really interesting to watch. 
<laughs> but Miles Bridges is a pretty interesting dunker. Yeah, I think I think Dennis Smith Jr. might might have to yeah. take it uh, for the dunk contest this year. I have to give it that to him. I mean, and now we'll let's go to the All Star game on Sunday night. Uh, Team LeBron and Team Giannis. Who do you guys think is going to win on top? And who do you guys think is going to be MVP of Ooh. the game? Oh God, that was really good. As much as you like Giannis, as, I'm as pretty much sure as I love Giannis, go LeBron, right? I'm going with Team. <laughs> let's, let's look at it like you know, I love Giannis and everything, but yeah. let's be realistic with the stats and everything, and the way yeah. that every player that's on their team. Yeah. Come on, we got to give it to Team LeBron. I don't know what Giannis was doing <laughs> when he was drafting. Like, <laughs> oh my God, fun, man. he was just <laughs> like, oh, you can have the, you can have James Harden. Oh, you oh, can yeah. have Kevin Durant too. Oh, you can have Davis too. Like. Giannis, like, you got to pick someone that can actually help you win. <laughs> like, I mean, like, I like that he picked Steph. Like, he, said, I, he picked yeah. Steph for, for his yeah, first picks. So. I don't mind that. But then he gave Kawhi, he gave Davis, he gave Kyrie, James Harden, and, and Durant. You gave all these players to LeBron? Like, what are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> I think Team LeBron having, I mean, even LeBron just choosing Kevin Durant, just, like, it's it already over. Screams. Yeah. Because yeah. from watching last year's game, yeah. having both of them on the court together, it just... That's, that's, a that's like playing two K. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't you can't stop. Them. It's tampering. Like this. It is, is tampering. <laughs> and plus that the one you know that me where it's like oh LeBron uh, like he picked all the <laughs> oh, he, that's he not meant to do that. I swear to God, he meant to do that. Like this guy is so like you know passive aggressive with his like moves, and he's like he always has ulterior motives. Like James always. is not stupid. Like he's a businessman. He's like a business mogul. Like, Everything that he does may has a reason behind it. That's why and, they call him the franchise, if anything. Exactly. Right? Like anywhere yeah. he goes, drama follows. Like you know, he moved to the Lakers last year. They didn't have as much drama. So they moved to the Lakers. All of a sudden, everyone's getting traded. Oh God! Like <laughs> this person's getting traded. It's basically, it's the, honestly the way that people see it, it's like it's the king's world, and we're all just living in it, right? Yeah. It's what he I, wants. I mean, he did that with. He made that kind of impact in Cleveland. Yeah. He's still making that impact in the Lakers, right? So and once he yeah. leaves the Lakers, they're all gonna be trash again, like the Cleveland Cavaliers. <laughs> <laughs> so we all agree that Team LeBron is gonna win on a Sunday night. Yeah. I mean, but, the, like Giannis's bench is like. Yeah. I don't know, man. You picked wrong, man. Yeah. Um, but who do but you guys? Who's gonna MVP? Who's right? gonna be MVP? Mm-hmm. I, I'm I'm choosing again because Russell Westbrook. He always plays very well during All Star games, and he's mm-hmm. on Giannis's squad. So coming off the bench, he could, he might have to take over because like looking at Giannis's bench, they're not they're they're All Stars are really good, yeah. but Russell Westbrook is gonna stand out and yeah. gonna, he's gonna shoot always. shoot from three all the time. In the always, game. always. I'm gonna th- I'm gonna take Harden actually, just okay. because he's on a roll right now. I was just about to say Harden too. I think yeah, he's just Harden. Gonna, yeah. But like, there's also that case where like you know Dwayne Wade's in it too. Dirk yeah. Nowitzki's gonna be in there too. Do you think it might be like? I don't really want to say. They it. might give I, yeah, two give, MVPs, like, two MVPs, one like, co MVP, co MVPs. Is it gonna maybe like are they yeah. gonna do that just because you know it's gonna be D Wade's last year and yeah. everything too? So. No, but I think they already are kind enough to give them that um, to give them. Uh, spot specifically yeah. for old man people like old players mm-hmm. retiree like yeah. a spot but it's not going to be nice enough to give also because also MVP does count for it does um, that's true but for salary for bonuses too so yeah. they're not yeah. going to be I like, think yeah I think I think if I were to choose one of the two I think obviously Dwayne Wade has yeah. a little bit more healthy, healthier mm-hmm. knees than yeah. Dirk exactly. and it's not the same situation as Kobe situation where he never mm-hmm. when Kobe was playing the all-star game for his last game and he never got MVP I think Kyrie Irving got MVP yeah. Yeah. that year um, but Kobe Bryant was actually, he was like, he was still a little bit hurt. I think yeah. Dwayne yeah. Wade will be having that, yeah. he might have that little edge to him. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll see. But I mean, LeBron's probably going to take it, LeBron's team. But Harden is probably a pretty good candidate. Yeah, too. for sure. Yeah.